Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back. Force here with some pretty big Overwatch news today, stepping into the realm of esports. This is a side of the game that I've kind of been openly critical of in the past, uh, echoing a lot of the sentiments that you see from some of the community talking about the game's viewability. This has been a, a point of contention for quite some time. People are saying that Overwatch is a tough game to view compared to some other esports, or just a tough game to view from a, a competitive spectator perspective perspective in general. And it turns out that Blizzard agrees. Overwatch has been a game that is hard to watch. This was said by Jeff Kaplan in a developer update video that was just released a couple of hours ago. And he talks about in this video plans that they have to improve the system. Now, obviously we've been seeing with the Overwatch League, the release of these team skins that I talked about earlier this week. And as we anticipated, this is something that they plan to be basically uniforms for the teams, but they're going even further than that. Not only are they having team uniforms, they're gonna have home and away versions of the uniforms. He said that the home versions will be darker, more saturated, and the away versions will be lighter versions of of the color palette, but that the team color paletting goes beyond their skins and the way they look, but it also changes the visual effects for everyone on the team. So he gave a reference of the the tracers of tracers pistols of her of her guns will change color based on her team's color palette or any explosions from any of the characters. And we're going to assume, I guess, along with this, also any of the ultimates that have visual cues. We're going to get a full color palette overhaul for each team. Now, obviously what this does is in the spur of the moment when a battle's going on and there's tons of explosions and, and characters jumping everywhere, it makes it much more obvious which team is winning and which team is using and what each team is doing at the moment. And I think that visual clutter with all of these different colors and all of these different explosions and these different heroes and, and everything uh, being you know very different and all happening at once in these huge team fights, I think that has been a lot of the problem. And, and this is their answer to try to solve that. And I think this is actually very smart moves. It's something that we've talked about potentially being an answer to the Overwatch spectator problem, I guess we'll call it. Now, on top of the changes that we're going to see on our end, there's also some improvements for the cameramen, the spectators of these matches that we'll be seeing in the Overwatch World Cup and the Overwatch League that are kind of controlling our perspective of the game because they are the ones quite literally in control. Control. These improvements for the observers and broadcasters include a brand new top-down interactive map that's going to let them see the entire map and all players at once. It'll also give them information like the ultimate status, any crowd control effects that are taking place, such as if someone is frozen by May or trapped in Junkrat's trap. And obviously this information lets them know where some action might be happening. Another problem besides the visual clutter is that sometimes the spectators will miss something that's interesting. But if you can see that someone is trapped in Junkrat's trap, well, there's a good chance they're going to die, so maybe they should move the action over there, or if someone is frozen by May, etc. So this top-down interactive map almost gives it a MOBA-like quality for being able to see the entire map and everything that's happening all at once, and that's going to help the, the spectators present the information to the viewers in a much, much better way. Now, we also know that sometimes in the competitive Overwatch, they make use of the third person camera, but it can be a little clunky because the shifting into and out of third person or the moving around of the camera uh, is done by human. But they've added a smart camera to the third person that will automatically follow the action and smooth the camera out. The, the system is said to know where the action is taking place in a match at any given time and will smartly follow to that action. Now, it's been my experience in other games with spectator modes that has smart cameras. The smart camera doesn't always seem so smart, so I don't expect people to lean on this very heavily when broadcasting the Overwatch League or the Overwatch World Cup, but it being, it, being it used every so often, I think is certainly a possibility. And maybe one of the biggest and I think most exciting changes of all is instant replays. Yes, that's correct. It's going to be available through an interactive kill feed so that any kill that takes place for whatever reason at any point on the map, whether they caught it originally or not, they will be able to interact with the kill feed and replay that moment exactly at any given point. 
that is absolutely huge because yes it's a six versus six game we've got ultimates we've got all sorts of abilities kills are happening left and right sometimes they're not always just in these big huge team fights and even with they if they are sometimes the spectator is following a person they expect to make the big play but someone else makes a big play and then we just miss it but no longer because now they can then click on and interact with that uh, kill feed and get an instant replay of that action pulled up whenever they want i mean Honestly, I, I don't think I can understate how big of a deal this is. This is very exciting to me. We'll, we'll no longer miss that huge Genji deflect or, or you know, the diva that stopped the ultimate or whatever. They can show it back to us at any point. And I think that that's going to make it a, a better experience because the, the, the observers, the spectators, are certainly going to be able to show us all of those big moments now. And we won't feel gypped as viewers that we missed out on something. And there's also many more features beyond these, evidently, that are also being worked on as well but between the, the the color palettes with the team uniforms and even changing the effects of the uh, explosions and the attacks of both teams to match their team color and this instant replay option these are two things that even myself who has been very critical of overwatch esports as of overwatch as a spectator game these are some very big changes that have me quite excited. Now, this is all evidently going to be showcased at the Overwatch World Cup happening next week at BlizzCon. Uh, I will be at BlizzCon, so I'm going to be able to see it for myself. I mean, anyone can see it. If you guys are watching the event, you can see it yourself at home. Uh, but I'm very, I'm honestly very, very intrigued. I'm not just saying this because, you know, I, I cover a lot of Overwatch. Uh, it, look at any of my prior videos talking about Overwatch esports. I've, I've always said that I feel like it's a subpar viewing experience, but these are some very smart and some very big changes that Blizzard are doing, and I hope it works out. You know, I would love for nothing more than to get into, uh, other than just enjoying playing the game and jumping in arcade and quick play and all that stuff, and you know, competitive if I want to torture myself. Uh, other than enjoying that, I would love if if these changes turn me around to Overwatch esports and get me invested in it. I, I I think there would be nothing greater. So here's hoping they do a good job. I guess we'll find out next week. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me here today. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this little update video. Check out the link in the description below to see Jeff Kaplan talking about all of these changes himself. Hope you all have a good one. Until next time, I'll see you later.